it is, I mean, family is the most important thing to me. I think uh, having my family along for this whole journey, my my parents, my grandparents, they come and see me play all over the country. Been doing it throughout the minor leagues, the major leagues, and even back in college. I mean, they're making every trip they can. And, um, you know, even from them hearing this news, they're like, well, how are we going to watch you play? And I'm like, well, I mean, there's a 15-hour time difference. So um, <laughs> if you're going to watch me play, it's going to be in the middle of the night. So, I mean, it's just um, they're going to have to figure that part out. But right. family really is... Uh, the most important thing and um, I just hope they can uh, all kind of make it over there if possibly I mean um, I know it's a long trip I think the flight from Los Angeles is like 12 15 hours or something like that so I mean they're gonna have to uh, spend a whole whole lot of time there it's not gonna just be a quick trip but uh, I mean I'm, I'm hoping that they can still follow my baseball career just as much as they've been uh, when I was in the States so and what about the, the language barrier aspect? Talk to, talk to me about that. Are you going to hire a translator? Or well, gonna... the, uh, the team provides a translator okay. for me, but that's just going to be um, at baseball stuff. So yeah. um, as far as like everyday activities before I go to the field, I mean, I'm just going to, um, I guess I'll be winging it. I mean, I, uh, I guess nowadays it's easier. You got this computer on your phone and you can just yeah. kind of translate anything, but... I mean, something as simple as, you know, going somewhere and getting something to eat is going to be a whole lot more difficult nowadays or going to the grocery store. I mean, so it's going to all going to be a definitely a learning process. But um, I mean, I'm excited, I'm excited for the experience. I mean, yeah. th that's all part of it, I guess. I mean, just going over there, not knowing what I'm getting myself into. I mean, just moving to apartment and who knows where and just just figuring it out, you know, I mean, the. Um, language barrier I hope I can find some English speakers over there I hope but I mean I'm going to try to learn as much Japanese as I can I know oh, it's yeah. going to be um I know that's going to be difficult but it's going to be a hell of a skill to add on your resume once, <laughs> yeah. once you do <laughs> yeah but I'm going to try and um I mean just as far as just like reading it I was I was looking at this uh article that was published about me the other day and uh supposedly it said you know Kyle Keller signs with the Hanshin Tigers but I mean I was just like my mind was spinning trying to even look at this right. stuff. I'm like, well, that's what I'm going to be dealing with here yeah. for the next year. So yeah. I better start figuring it out. Yeah, bro. I, I saw that newspaper cover that uh, Brandon Shearman sent me. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Yeah, he was going to Japan. There's, like, a, this there's is... a lot of stuff going on on that cover. Yeah, there, was a, there was a lot of activity on that newspaper <laughs> cover. But it's only when I saw my guy here. I wonder what it said. Uh, that's why yeah. I was curious. I, was yeah. like, I wonder what they're saying about me. I got no clue. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we were uh, we were joking before before the show that uh, the guys on part of my take whenever a celebrity guest walks into their studio that Big Cat and PFT just just kind of sit there and keep doing their research and don't even show the guy any attention. Um, do you think that's how it's going to be when you go to Japan, or do you think uh, this team and these guys are going to be going to be excited to uh, you know to welcome you to the squad? Um. I'm not sure. I think, um, I mean, there's only so many uh, foreigners on every team. So, well, uh, definitely being a minority, whether it be um, Latin Americans or, you know, Americans, uh, there's only, I think, four or five that can be on every team. So, um, I'm hoping they welcome me with open arms, you know, and everything. And I'm excited to, you know, learn a little bit about their culture. And I'm sure they do things a lot differently than we do things over here. So, um, not that I'm going to feel pressured to, you know, fall into those things or whatever, but I mean, I'm excited to, you know, just go at it with an open approach and be willing to really just learn and learn from that, really.